Okay, Michael in New York, got your new meter here. And I uh, just wanted to show you this before I send it off to you tomorrow. Um, this is the 503 Max. So the one that's showing, actually this is the 103 Max. They do show the 503 kind of as an advertisement. And that is this one that's normally sitting on my bench. This is actually this meter. Now the box is for the 103. So not to confuse everybody, this is a different meter than what Michael bought. The reason I think they do that is just for advertising purposes. But the 103 is this one. And we can see there they have both on the box. Probably so they can use the same box and not make a special box for each. Now the box does specify which one it is based on what you see here. So they have a 503 that doesn't have the max. I don't know why anyone would want that anymore since you have the peak option. But um, obviously this is the 103. 1 to 60 megahertz, 1200 watts. So that's what we're looking at here. And we have our ICOM 7300 here going into a dummy load. Got about 18 feet of cable coming out of this meter going over to an antenna switch where the dummy load is terminated on one of the outputs on the switch. So we'll take a look here at the ICOM and we'll speak into the microphone here and kind of show you guys what we're working with there. So we're not really running too heavy compression in the ALC as well within the limit. And there's our power output right there. So I, I'm very happy with that. That's more than accurate for what we'd want on the hobby side here. And it's a very good looking meter, as you can see there. It's, it looks really good. You shut the light off in the room, you can clearly see it. And it gives you everything you'd want to see in one screen, the SWR. If you have any reflect power, what you see here, you'd want to subtract the, subtract the reflection from, and that would give you a better understanding. Okay, if it's showing 96, but we have some type of SWR here to say it's showing five reflection, then really we got about 91 or something. So that's what that would mean. But it's all kind of there on one screen, which is cool. Um, we'll go to AM and we'll key up. I'm happy with that it's about 25 watts is what these usually do and then we'll go to FM and we'll key up and I'm happy with that it's showing about 110 so these are about a hundred so not too bad now I don't have anything where I can show you the higher power because you have to have a minimum of 300 on that level I don't think if I put this hundred in yeah, it doesn't give me an option because it's looking for more power. You have to put more power into this to to give it uh, a reading. So that's why it's not showing us anything there. So um, those that may show these on the internet or something on videos probably don't understand how they work and maybe they don't have their equipment hooked up right. But every each and one of these I've ever tested and sold, they've always worked well and well within reason for an affordable style meter that looks really good in, on the bench here. So let me just shut the light off in the room and we'll just try to get a better understanding of like how it would look in a dark room. It may not be perfect because the camera is trying to focus on, it's actually focusing on the point zero zero of the power and it's not fully dark because I have a window off to my left and I have curtains and they're still letting some light in. But you can see the icon here if we back up a little bit you can kind of see both of them so obviously you sit back from this you know it's very visible and um, you know, when we key up you can see the power would SSB again and we'll speak one two three four five six seven eight nine ten check one two check one two hello so again you know it's going to be very close to what you would probably see on a much more costly meter in that sense. So I, I'm very happy with how these work. Uh, for something just sitting here looking, I would I'd be more than happy myself to use this. And I do use the 503. That's the one that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video because there's not really anything I run personally that would need to have a reading over 200 watts. So that does well for me. And especially on the VHF, UHF side, you know, I, I'm going to run at the maximum like 50 on UHF and maybe 100 on VHF. So you can see as I'm talking, it's just cruising right along and everything's working well. So there you go, Michael. Uh, I'm going to put it back in the box. It may not look as good as what it would if it was 
if it wasn't tested because you know they have these sealed really nice from the factory and stuff but obviously I wanted to show you it worked which I've just done and I will get it heading your way so thanks a lot if you like this meter I got more of these available on the website www.scottsradios.com 73